Since we've been here, it's been nonstop. People have been coming by bringing all kinds of donations of food, flowers, and well wishes for the family and the community. This is a walk Colby Smith never wanted to make. I knew him. He was a good guy. He was a strong guy. And I know he's a veteran. But he says it's the least he could do for someone he's known a long time, Officer Spencer Bristol. And he's bringing this bouquet. I knew him from high school. I used to work with him at Texas Roadhouse. Uh, I've duck hunted with him. Smith is a Sumner County paramedic. He's seen Officer Bristol out on scenes and can't imagine what his family is going through. It hits deep. You wish that there was something that you could do uh, to help. It kind of makes you wonder how lucky you are to make it home after your shift. Uh, it makes you thankful for it if you got family. Many came to the police department, bringing not only flowers, but well wishes and prayers, and also things that are homemade, like this gift from a nearby daycare. So we created a badge with the blue line and uh, all of their handprints, and uh, we just want to lend them a helping hand in their time of need because they're there for us when we need them. The gratitude played out on the streets of Hendersonville, all the way until Officer Bristol's body arrived at the Memory Gardens. Those who work at the police department say the outreach has been encouraging during this tough time. It's definitely good to see that uh, the community is kind of coming together and, and making an effort to, to let it known that they do care because uh, that's, that's who we're here for. And for them to, to show that they also care when something like this happens, it means a lot. Kyle Haran, News Channel 5.